everybody, welcome back to Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Garrett Campbell. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the medication known as leflunamide. Its brand name is Areva. And before I talk about the medication itself, just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only and not to be used as a source for recommendations for your personal health care. Now, in this presentation, we'll discuss the mechanism of action or how this medication works, indications or reasons we would prescribe this medication to a patient, followed by contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe leflunamide. We'll then touch on an example of dosing and then finish it off with side effects with percentages. I put together some slides to go over this information. Let's jump right into it. So the first thing to discuss here will be the mechanism of action or how this medication works. So leflunamide is metabolized rapidly to its active metabolite, teriflunamide. Teriflunamide demonstrates anti-inflammatory and anti-proliferative effects through inhibition of dihydroorotate dehydrogenase. In terms of indications or reasons we prescribe this medication to a patient, well, we would often see this medication prescribed in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. With respect to contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe leflunamide, well, first of all, we wouldn't give this medication to a patient who had a hypersensitivity to leflunamide or to any other component of the formulation. If a patient was experiencing pregnancy, they would not be able to use this medication, as well as patients who have severe hepatic or liver impairment. Lastly, this medication should not be used with teriflunamide. Now for an example of dosing with leflunamide. So in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis, we would typically see a loading dose of 100 milligrams orally once daily for three days. And this would only be for patients at a low risk of hepatotoxicity and myelosuppression. For a maintenance dose, we may see 20 milligrams orally once daily, and the patient may reduce the dose to 10 milligrams orally once daily if the higher dose is not tolerated. As with all medications, there are some side effects or adverse reactions that patients may experience while using leflunamide, so we'll go over some of those here now. 9 to 17% of patients may experience alopecia, while 10 to 12% may experience a rash. Diarrhea may happen between 17 and 27% of the time, and 3 to 5% of patients may experience an ulcer in the mouth. 4 to 7% of patients may experience dizziness, and 7 to 13 may experience percent sorry may experience a headache. Some more serious side effects would be Stevens-Johnson syndrome, liver injury or liver failure, tuberculosis, or peripheral neuropathy. All right, everybody, that's all we're going to talk about today with leflunamide or Areva. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to come by and watch one of my videos. If you found the information valuable and you'd like to help grow this channel, remember you can like the videos, share the videos, or most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. But for today, take care.